Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I decided to talk a little bit more about some aspects of SEO that we can control with DNN. What is uh, an active URL? What is a 301 redirect URL? How you can control them with DNN? What happens when you move a page from one location to another location. What happens when you rename a page? So we're gonna be covering this on this video. I hope you like it. Before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, I would like to talk about a new support plan that we have just launched on Deskpol. At Deskpol, we help you with your DNN website, we help you to maintain, to fix bugs, to add content. We help you to upgrade. We help you to do a bunch of things on your DNN website. Deskpol one, is a plan, a new plan geared towards the person who needs help with DNN. Whether you have one DNN site, two DNN sites, 10 DNN sites, a thousand DNN sites, it doesn't matter. Because now we are supporting you, the individual, the person, not the site. Of course, we'll help you to fix your site, but we are helping you. If you want more information about what the plan covers, what it doesn't cover, all the details, you can go to deskpal.1. If you want to reach out to me personally, so we can book a time, you can book an appointment, and you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything, maybe about Deskpal, maybe about Deskpal1, just send me an email to the address below and we can talk. That's it. Enjoy the tip of the week. Okay, so today you're gonna understand a little bit more about URLs in the context of DNN 9.2 and what are the options that we have there for page URLs. So for the second example, I'm gonna go here to the sales page, which is located under departments. And as you can see, the URL for the page becomes automatically departments forward slash sales because it is under the department's page. So let's go to pages and let's have a look at the advanced settings, SEO settings of this page. And you're gonna see just one single entry here, which is the default one. The default one will follow the pages under the hierarchical structure that this current page is setting on, which in this case, it's called departments and it has just one entry, one single entry here, which is set to active URL and it was generated automatically. Now let's have a look what will happen if we rename this page to sales team. And I'm going to save this. And now let's have a look again at advanced SEO. Make sure that you fully refresh the page because you may not see the new entries right away. So as you can see, we have renamed the page to sales team. Now the active one has changed to sales dash team. And there is a new one that has been automatically created, which is a redirect, a 301 redirect from the old name to the new name because if there were links already linking to the older name, to the older URL, you don't want those links to be broken. You want them to be redirected to the new page, to the new URL. And by doing a 301 redirect, we tell search engines like Google that the page has permanently moved its URL to the new name, to sales team. If you don't care, about the old name, which was sales. If this is a brand new site and you don't care about those entries, you can just delete them. You can remove them. There won't be a redirect, but again, a redirect is only useful if you have a well-established site that may have links already to existing URLs. If it's a brand new site, there's no reason to keep redirects here. So you could potentially delete them. Now let's have a look what happens when you move a page from let's say one navigation place, one navigation point like departments to about us, just for a sake of example. So we're gonna drag sales team under, now under about us. And we're gonna expand there. It's already under sales team. Let's go to advanced SEO. And now here's what you see. Sales team is under about us now. 
and we have yet another redirect from the old departments slash sales team redirecting to whom? To the active one. So you can create as many redirects as you want. You can keep adding here. Actually, here's an example. Let's say that you want a shortcut to the sales team page. Maybe you just want a URL to be slash sales. So you can just click on add URL. You can add just sales here and don't make it active. Make it a redirect because the sales page will be accessible by slash sales. However, it will automatically redirect to the current location. So let's save this and let's see what happens when we try that URL. See, it automatically redirected to the final destination, to the final location, the current location of this page. So, as I said before, you can have as many redirects created, all will point back to the active one. And as you can see, because this one was created manually, it, it says generated by super user account, which is my user here. It would have a name if it was, you know, another user that has created this. But then you may say, but Ederson, I want the page to stay where it is right now under about us sales team. I don't want to rename sales team, but I want it to have a different URL. I want the URL, the active URL to be another one, but I don't want to rename the page for that. So you can do that. You can click on add URL. You can say, let's say in our case here, I can put it as about us forward slash and let's say that just for the sake of example here I'm going to call this page the URL as sales dash crushers okay and under URL type I'm going to keep active as the one selected I'm going to save this now here's what happens we have a new active URL which again active can only be one URL and it's now called about us dash sales crushers. Let's have a look here. Let's refresh this site. Let's click there. Let's get rid of this. Let's go to about us sales team. When you click there, you see we have sales crushers as the new URL for this page. We haven't had the need to change the page name. We just changed the URL. So with these options, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can organize and manage the URL structure of your website. And this is a good add on to another video that I put together where I demonstrated this area, but with the caveat that we are, were using to redirect .html and .php pages as well. I'm going to create a link to that video that I have posted before. So this is it. This is how you can manage page URLs on DNN using the different URL types active can only be one in redirect you can have multiple URLs pointing to one single active one that's it thank you very much and bye for now if you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone subscribe